All right, I'm making a quick video before uh, me and my friend Billy trying to overhaul this thing. Um, piston rings, I'm pretty sure, are shot to hell because it smokes like a sieve. Um, valves, they got they're, they're clicking and chattering real pretty. It's really bad, but uh, it's it still drives just as fine as it does without it smoking, but. Anyway, this is my new toy. I just bought it. Traded out that uh, Cup Cadet 682 Hydro for it. Me and my friend Billy are going to take the motor out of it tonight. And uh, we're going to see what, what we can find that's wrong with it and see about all the parts. And I'll show you how bad she smokes. Yeah, she burns oil pretty bad. As you can see by the big old cloud. Also, I I read I read something online about it being a four valve. If anyone if anyone knows anything about these motors, that'd be a great help. Any good websites to get parts off of and anything like that. I'd like you to put a comment in the below. I'd like you to put a uh, comment below and let me know what you know. Oh, by the way, for those of you who don't already know, it's an 86 Honda Fat Cat. And the way to determine that is 86, the engine was black, and 87, the engine was silver. And that's pretty much it. Electric start works, high beam, low beam still works, tail light still works. Everything works perfectly fine. It's just the uh, smoking issue. Yep, well, I'm signing off. I'll bring back another video of it uh, working like it's supposed to new. Here's a little workstation I've kind of put together. This is in my junked up garage. This is the only real clean side to it. As you can see, everything on this side is just cluttered up. I mean, it's just a mess. Normally, I do all my work on stuff. I usually work out outside, way out there. Usually work on the pavement or in front of the house. So I got the camper popped up over here. There's the bike. I'm going to take the engine out tonight and I'm going to bring it inside and inside the garage here and put it on this little workbench I set up over here. Got my tools, bright halogen light, and crap. Well, I guess back then it was good, but now it's a crappy radio. Old ass radio from the freaking 60s. And I got a little tool kit. John Deere toolbox. Should have plenty of room for the motor to sit here. Break it down and see what all it needs. It's gonna need a lot. Oh yeah, check it out. Mariner 40 horse. Oil injected. On a, uh, not quite sure what the hell kind of boat it is, but it's got the steering wheel up here and everything. It's full of junk right now. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I got myself a little workstation set up. All right, say so hey, Billy. Hey. All right, yeah. Um, we got the motor out. Getting ready to uh, break it down and see what all needs replacing. Pretty sure the valve seats are going to need it. Hopefully, the piston is salvageable, or we can just replace the rings and hone the block. But uh, yeah, it looks different without the motor in it. That's for sure. When Billy popped the motor out, I watched the suspension jump up by about an inch. So that motor definitely has some heavy weight to it. But surprisingly easy to get the motor out. I, I, I didn't know it was going to be as easy as it was. But uh, you can take a look at the motor now. We got it on the table in the little work setup I made. So yeah, we got the motor out of it now 
kickstart on the fat cat motor. I guess I'm gonna, I might actually order a Wissico piston, one of those high performance ones. Maybe. Depends on how expensive things get. Because I don't really have much of a budget to start with. But yeah. We're gonna make this fat cat like new. It's gonna be nice. She was burning oil so freaking bad. It's just y'all can't really see it very well, but the exhaust port here has just got oil dripping in inside of it, and the exhaust pipe itself is just caked with black oil. I think it was burning it that damn bad. Yeah, we're gonna work on this thing tonight and break it down and see what I gotta order. You know, and also <clears throat> since I didn't have a manual for it. This is pretty helpful. I went online and bought a uh, PDF file, and I printed the whole thing out, all 206 pages. So I got a uh, service manual for the 86 through 87 TR200 Fat Cat, and a pink binder because I know I'll never lose a pink binder. Oh, Billy's got the light set up back there so we can see better. Yeah, that definitely helps some. Um, now we can. Get some better light. Alright. Well. You'll see it taken apart in a few seconds. Billy's working hard taking the carburetor off now. So what's next after the car, Billy? Well, what's next is we'll pop the valve cover and uh, take a look at the valves. Uh, see where all that clattering's coming from. Alright. And uh, see why it's smoking so bad. That's what the next thing we'll do, I guess. I know that valve is, or both the valves probably, they're both, both way, way off. Way out, they're not set correctly, I guess you could say. The valve lash is set incorrectly. Mm -hmm. Bill, you have a feeler gauge, right? Um, yeah. Alright, because we're going to need that after we uh, find out if it needs valve seats or not. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna need some new valve seals, new rings. Yeah. Alright, so we got the cap off, and this is what we see right now. I guess we're gonna have to pull these two bolts out, and I think, let's see here. I think once we get those two bolts out, we should be able to see the overhead valves. I'm hoping. Or maybe these don't even have to come out. Maybe it's. How long are those bolts? Yeah, those are pretty long. I think we can get a crowbar or something under there and pop this whole cap off here. I think this is a cap. Yeah, after you take this off, it should come off. Well, I don't, I, th I don't think these have to actually come out. I'm not sure. I think I'm pretty positive they do for this motor. All right, we just pulled off the uh, cover, the valve cover, and uh, timing chain doesn't look like it's loose. Actually. Looks like it's pretty tight. Let's see here. Do we have any? No, it's tight. Cam chain's like it's supposed to be. It's not loose at all. It's nice and snug. See, I don't see any. There's no play in that valve. There's no play in that valve either. We'll have to take springs off to find out. See if the valve guides are torn out. Yeah. God, it's tight spring. This thing is made for high RPM. This valve looks like it's stiff. Nope. It's, it's moving. Really tight springs. It looks like looks like it's fairly new because I see some shiny blue in there. Hmm. Yeah, Who knows? Looks, maybe a person before us redid it. So I guess it really is the rings that are bad because it looks like the valves are fine. Yeah. So the cam... The cam looks alright. Doesn't look like it's scored or anything. Yeah, it looks alright. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it looks clean in there. It looks really nice. Alright, well, let's get back to work. Alright, next, uh, I don't know what's coming up next. We'll, I'm sure y'all see in the next video.